let's move on and finish off the stream and see how the internet did react to the game yesterday starting off with the Spurs Express bringing up what we have already talked about, but let's give it one more go. Uh, the Spurs Express saying no Premier League player has more goal contributions after coming on as a sub this season than Brennan Johnson, who has six, making yeah. an impact. And which is, I think, why his role has been so important off the bench this season is because he just offers such a different kind of threat with his pace off the bench. Um, not only stretching defenders and going on the outside and making different kind of runs to the likes of like Kulisevsky um, does on the right-hand side, but also getting, making those runs to the back post. He just makes his defender work a lot. And when you're, especially when he's coming on against tired legs, it's a lot difficult for those, it's very difficult for those defenders to deal with that. So <clears throat> that's why I think he's been so effective coming off the bench this season. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this from Spurs Kings TV. Big up Marlon was in the studio yesterday. I think uh, the guy's got what 100% record in the studio. Yeah, so bring him in every game. I think we might have to make him a permanent fixture here in the studio bar Marlon. But he says, I mentioned this on We Are Tottenham yesterday with Barnaby Slater, but not sure which one was closer, Johnson or Lamella. Uh, if you make these pictures a bit bigger and maybe we can have a bit of discussion, which one was actually Ooh, closer? So, so this I think one is this Lamella's. One was, was it, yeah, this one was Lamella's. Uh, against Watford Ooh, and this one was Brennan Johnson. Oh my god, what's closer? I think Johnson's is closer, you know. Do you think so? Yeah, I think so. Just. Yeah, I think you might be right. Just. Just. You're talking about millimeters. Here. Literally. And you know what's mad as well? Um with the with that chance. So it's rolling across the line. It then hits the inside of the post and actually moves towards the goal yeah. before <laughs> Doughty is able to clear it. So it's literally and you think you think it can't get any more in it then does go a tiny bit more in and somehow it's not a goal i mean i don't know how that happened but that was one of two like one in a million things that happened yesterday yeah. um no context Tottenham. <laughs> this is uh gareth johnson, gareth <laughs> yeah, johnson. Yeah. i mean he needs to bulk up crazy. a little bit but um well we can't remember bale at his age or well, yeah. not his age actually maybe not his younger. age yeah. maybe, maybe a bit younger his age he was uh um, getting offers from Madrid, I think, but um, but 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 Bale was also a bit, you know, scrawny and stuff. But then he—that's when he really came into his own when he started getting strong and like all of a sudden mm. players couldn't bully him. Yeah. And then he had always had that quality about him, didn't he? So I do think actually, actually Brennan's pretty broad. I don't think he's weak. He's not broad, but I mean, Bale was just a specimen, wasn't he? Of a physicality. He wasn't always though. No, not was always. It? But I'm saying when he got into yeah, yeah. If Brennan gets to that kind of level, then um, we'll see. Um, but I do think Brennan's quite broad, actually, because he's quite tall. Mm. So I think if he adds a bit more muscle, then uh, he's going to be hard to stop. But yeah, uh, not quite uh, on Bale's level just yet. <laughs> not quite. Not but quite. also, you've got to remember, Bale, when he first started out, in a weird way, obviously he used to take free kicks and stuff so he was actually it was always very good um he was always very good from like a uh, technical standpoint but he also started off as a player who used to go on the outside a lot didn't he mm. he used to go on the outside and put crosses in that yeah. was like his biggest strength yeah then he developed into that player he used to like cut inside and shoot so i'm not saying brennan's going to turn into bale but it's just interesting to see the parallels there what are you saying then just pointing, out, <laughs> just pointing it out. I'm saying Bre Bale, when his younger years, did look a lot like Brennan. Mm, interesting. I mean, like, um, I think even in the early size of, of Gareth Bale, when um, when he went through, what, 27 games without a win uh, mm -hmm. or something, uh, I think even in those games, you know, free kicks aside, you could see what a talent the boy was. Mm. And I think in the early stages, even from like his debut in the first few games in the Spurs shirt, you could see it with, with Gareth Bell. I don't think you really saw that as much with Brennan, but I think Brennan still needs time and he's growing. That's for sure. Well, Bell was 17 when he broke in as well. Yeah. And, I, and, yeah. I, and you saw that yeah. quality straight away. Yeah. A bit different. Um, Carly T says, uh, the evil spirit of Comte kept this one out. <laughs> <laughs> the evil spirit of Comte. Look, I don't know how I didn't go in. Um, did I think it does take a slight deflection off the uh, defender, but incredible how that, uh, that didn't go in. It was mad. Uh, football on TNT Sports says most goal contributions in the Premier League this season. Oli Watkins, 26. Mo Salah, 24. Well, 25 now because he's just scored. And Hyung min Son, 23. Yeah, it just shows how effective he's been. One of the best players in the league. Wouldn't be surprised if he's top of that chart come the end of the season. But uh, yeah, he's, he's had an incredible season, Sonny. And especially as well, he missed a month through the Asia Cup as well. So you've got to take that into account. Uh what a season he's having do you think right now as it stands if the season finished tomorrow team of the year this this should be the front three 
Watkins, Salah, Son. Um, yeah, I do. Without Erling Haaland. Even yeah. though Erling Haaland's top goal scorer in the league. Yeah, but he's not as good. I don't think he's done uh, as much. The fact that he's got 18 goals and he's not near the top of that uh, goal contributions tells a bit of a story for me about Haaland. Mm. As much as I think he's amazing. Right now, it would be. But if Haaland goes on to score, like, I don't know, nearly 30, then you obviously got to put him in there. Yeah. And at the expense of who? Watkins. Probably Watkins. Depends if Watkins... Well, well, Watkins ends up with like 40 goal contributions. He probably has to be there. Yeah. So at the expense of who then? No one. He doesn't get in there then. <laughs> Alistair Gold says, uh, for a man who was starting in his third match in just over a week and flew back across the world, Son in the 86th minute picked up the ball in his own box, sprinted up the field, played Timo Werner down the left, ran into the other penalty area to fire Johnson's layoff captain. Yeah. I, don't, I couldn't put it bare myself. Uh, then Ali Gold put it there. That, that was such a big moment, and he, you know, he must have been tired after international break, and to pull off that lung bursting run and not just pull it off, but have the quality with that is with that moment as well it was was a very special moment for Sonny, and that's just why he's he's got that mentality. Next up, George says the grass ain't always greener. This is Harry Kane oh after losing two nil to Borussia Dortmund yesterday, um, and now you've got. One job left to do, Harry. You've got one job, and that is to knock Arsenal out of the Champions League. But realistically, if you if you wanted just to beat Arsenal, you could have just stayed. <laughs> um, looks like, uh, yeah, that, uh, uh, what's his name, Tuchel, um, he said the league's over after yesterday, he conceded. Uh, so Harry Kane, I can't believe he's... Uh, gone to buy the ankle in the league but you can see in that expression there he looks a bit embarrassed doesn't he um but i wouldn't say the grass is always always green because we're fifth it's not like we're winning the league but but if, if he, he would have stayed team, yeah if he would have stayed it could have been a different story yeah um zara says sonny with timo and radu and uh <laughs> sonny just messing up uh timo's hair and then a nice little hug to radu as well yeah, Sonny just gets on with everyone. We know that. He's such a great captain. And I love the appreciation showing for Radu after the game as well. Lovely moment. Tottenham Korea tweeting out the uh, players uh, with their celebration. I love these uh, yeah, celebrations yeah. coming in um, through the tunnel. Vicario obviously going mad. Um, Richarlison loving life. Who we got next? Destiny uh, with a fist pump. This is Pedro Porro. Pedro oh, Porro. He Porro's does the same smile. thing every time, Pedro. <laughs> Gio. Come on. I like seeing Gio happy. He deserves a bit of appreciation. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Pop. Pop. So with Ben Tenko. Timo just does nothing. Radu, Radu just, just a little walks smile. past as well. Ah, the classic oh, wink yeah. from Brennan. And the wig is becoming the a bit iconic. It's an Brennan iconic wink, Brennan wink. <laughs> Go on, Brennan. Um, this is from lovely Sonny. And this is uh, Vicario <sighs> after Sonny scored. Look at that. Passion. 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 Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, I love Vicario's celebrations. He just leaves it all out there, doesn't he? He does. I'm surprised he's not actually knackered after his celebrations. <laughs> he probably was. <laughs> Lovely Sonny. Uh, this was after he scored that hug with Romero. That's all, this is also becoming a bit iconic, this Romero and Sonny <laughs> hug. Oh, I can't get enough of it. Big up to those two. Lee McQueen in the in, on X. Big up, Lee. And he says Son has scored 15 Premier League goals and eight assists. And he missed three Premier League games at the Asia Cup. Our captain. Yeah. What a season he's having. Um, what a legend. Absolutely. Did he only miss three? Well, he missed a few cup games and a as cup, well. Missed so, two yeah, cup games, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and Tula um, says, so proud of each and every fan who turned their backs, we go again. And obviously this is about a protest in the stadium yesterday where on the 65th minute, um, the, I would say like a big percentage of the South yeah. Stand stood up and um, turned their backs to the ground. Um, luckily we had screens on in the background <laughs> so we could see what was going on on the pitch because there was a chance uh, that was happening towards the end of the 65th minute. But I thought um, good work from the Spurs fans standing up for the senior citizens of Spurs. Yeah, and I think it was a good protest. Um, I think it was well received in the ground. Um, I think, uh, it, I think the you got to, um, big up to um, everyone who organised it. 
uh, at Save Our Seniors as well. You can go give them a follow, and hopefully the club take take notice of that because I think it's what they're doing with the senior senior season tickets are uh, are a disgrace to be honest with the concessions. Yeah, agreed. Spurs Global tweeting out, and Spurs also tweeted this out yesterday. Adam Sandler at the game yesterday, star studded event. Um, I don't know what Adam Sandler and Spurs have in connection. Maybe it's just the Jewish connection. He's a yid, exactly. <laughs> Come on, he's a big Spurs fan. Um, THFC Matthew says Brennan Johnson impact and yeah I mean we can wax lyrical all, all, all stream about Brennan Johnson yeah what an unbelievable impact he had uh, I, like, I like the picture of him as well but uh, yeah brilliant cameo what more can I say Hotspur reports Youngmin Son on becoming Spurs' joint fifth all-time record goal scorer it's a huge honour to be part of this conversation but for me the most important thing is the team is getting more successful rather than my individual stats and that is a leader once again of course he's such a team player Sonny he never, he's, he never wants to talk about himself it's all about the team and that's what he's all about Sonny you know when he does want to talk about himself in it, when it's like kind of negative when he puts himself mm. in it with the other people as well which is um shows how selfless he actually is uh but thfc matthew again saying mr tottenham and this is pedro porro i love the passion from pedro yeah he's one of the most passionate players we have isn't he every game he's always putting everything into it even if he's not having the best game you know he always gives 100 percent. and he's i think he's growing a, a lot of big affinity with the club you can see it in, in in the way he celebrates as well so i think everyone's falling in love with pedro porro yeah next up sonny says uh hyung min son you worked hard let's take a shower and get some rest <laughs> <laughs> i think we can all agree sonny so need some rest rest up for tuesday because we're going to need him and let's go and have a look at that iconic brennan johnson wink one more time <laughs> he knows <laughs> he knows how he performed on the pitch but he wasn't winking at more pie this time I don't think, so. <laughs> um this is hyung min son after the game uh giving his post-match review and it's from Son underscore Way, and the tweet is translated. I have to repeat, bok, 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 50,000 times. I'm not sure what, what he's alluding to. I don't know what that means, <laughs> but I'm sure... Uh, I don't know what it means, but look, you gave a great interview, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Holly Agombar says, I remember seeing him score his first goal at the lane in the flesh. Incredible servant. Mm, I was there as well. Um, who was it against? Crystal Palace. What was, was the score? It was his first home game. Uh, it was 1-0. Mm. He scored the winner back in 2015 and now look at him 160 goals later 160 goals so the only players that have scored more than him and martin chip is 174 which you would imagine by next season he should be above that mm. uh, bobby smith 208 jimmy greaves 266 and harry kane 280 by the end of his spurs career where do you think he ends up uh definitely in the top three uh actually definitely in the top three that's a big ask four two because he has 48 goals Definitely in the top four. If he stays three more seasons, then he'll be in the top. Then he can be in the top three, I think. And I think he will stay three more seasons. Yeah, I think that I think Jimmy Greaves is going to be a bit too much. Yeah, I think top three. I'm going to go top three. Bobby Smith. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, Sonny um, showing his love for a uh, little intruder onto the pitch <laughs> yesterday, and I thought that was lovely because this the guy, this little kid darted out from the south stand um during the game yesterday and um he got all these stewards running after him and then he tries to approach sonny and like sonny kind of just goes up to him shakes him on the head and go mm. you naughty boy <laughs> <laughs> uh love lovely moment for sonny about the kid who loved uh being having his hair ruffled by sonny who wouldn't yeah and if you look at the uh, tweet that's been quoted as well just show those pictures um i thought they're lovely pictures as well uh, <laughs> don't think so sonny felt he was going to be in danger after that yeah <laughs> um next up is football confidentials full-time tottenham two luton to luton one spurs now just eight points off the top with a home tie against the temporary leaders to come come on and everyone remembers that tweet down. harry kane we're Lion chasing tweets. him down <laughs> liverpool are still winning but brian can turn it around come on <laughs> uh sonny um 07 with the tweet look at that passion from hyung win son yeah. with uh watered eyes emojis unbelievable Oh, this is a funny one from yesterday. Calvin Phillips, this is not yeah. Spurs related, but I thought I'd bring it in anyway. Calvin Phillips is not in a good place. West Ham fans were shouting criticism of him. And look at that oh, reaction from dear. Calvin Phillips. Yeah, they were shouting he's useless. And then that is not a good look, especially when you're on loan at a club, you want to impress and you want to you know, earn a permanent move and you're doing shit like that. It's, uh, is that. Is that it for Calvin? Could he ever get come back from that? 
He just has to play well, I guess. Yeah. I felt bad for him because he I didn't think there was a penalty against him. And and uh, maybe he's been blamed for that, but Yeah, but he came on at three one up. Yeah, that doesn't look good either. <laughs> that doesn't look good either. <laughs> he came on at three one up, they lose four three. But let but if you let's say this was Spurs fans, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't like that. No, I wouldn't like that. No. It's it's uh, as a professional you can't be doing that. You no. can't be holding yourself in a professional standpoint. And uh I saw a funny tweet from a West Ham fan um during the game and uh it was like tongue in cheek obviously, but he said um Calvin Phillips coming on West Ham a three one up, final result four three to Newcastle. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> he called it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, Carly T uh next up. Carly on you Spurs says Sonny hitting uh, both posts. This was brilliant. Did you, did you see this yesterday? <laughs> no, it's brilliant. It was in the Rangers game. Literally, pretty much the same chance of ha boom, happening. Boom, <laughs> brilliant. Um, Axel THFC saying another goal in the Sifts. Keep on hating haters. Boom. Yeah, and there's yeah. Look, Brennan is starting to really make an impact now, and you got to give him a lot of credit because yeah. uh, there was a lot of criticism, but he's really starting to turn it around now. Yeah, Daily Hotspur just um, showing again how tight that was. Uh, so close to being over the line. Axel THFC next up says, 25 games, 15 goals, 8 assists. Hummin Son, our captain. Mm. Um, unbelievable goal return. Unbelievable. Yeah, incredible. Um, uh, next up again, Carly T. Oh, we'll go past that one, actually. Uh, Blue Deer says, Madison hits Sonny and Sonny touches Mickey's head. You guys are so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Look at that hit by Madison. <laughs> I love it. He's like, you bastard. What a goal. And, and um, Mickey. They always seem to have that kind of thing on the bench, don't they, Madison and Sonny? Yeah. When we were up there uh, on that side of the pitch in the Crystal Palace game, we saw it kind of firsthand. Mm, yeah, we? got a little, really great bromance going on. Axel THFC, six golden assists in his last eight games and only three of them were starts. Wow. And that, that goes to show the impact he's really having. And he's playing so well at the moment. I'm really, really happy for him. Yeah. Um, ABY says, when the own goal was scored, Sonny got the ball straight away to start again and was encouraging the team. He's the best captain. Yeah, he doesn't celebrate equalizers, Sonny. He only celebrates winners. And Harry Kane was similar as well. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's all about. Um, THFC report next up says, uh, look at Radu Dragusla. I don't know what he's doing. Radu. I think this is probably when the clubbing music was on. Oh, uh, he's having a bit of a dance. He's getting into it. So he's enjoying his moment. He got a win. Come on. And this was Radu Dragusin on Instagram saying, victorious on our pitch tonight. Thrilled to be part of this amazing team. Hard work pays off. And tonight's game was proof of that. Let's keep pushing forward. Yeah, and Good I'm delighted for him. Look, I, I know I said he was our worst player, and I stand by it, but I'm really happy he got, he got his uh, winner. I don't think he had a bad game overall. Um, I think it was a, definitely an improvement on his Fulham performance, so let's just hope he keeps going on strength to strength. Uh, nice one, Sonny says... Uh... They let this man stand there and get interviewed with a bug crawling on his face. Yeah, I think there's a, there is something there, isn't there, on his forehead? That is that I don't know, is it a spider or something? No one, no one had the uh, wherewithal to brush it off his it face. And there's a little, also a patch on his cheek as well. No, it's it? definitely a bug. You can see it crawl from his hair down to his forehead. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And how, how did no one stop that happening? Come on. <laughs> Digital Spurs uh, saying, flew across the ocean and got to see the Sonny winner. This is what it's all about. And that is in reply to Isaac Kim's, uh, when you see something deeply emotional flows forth, uh, you love yeah. deeply something emotional flows forth. And look at that. He's got a tear in his eye oh, i think we all feel that when we see sonny on the pitch scoring goals Absolutely. how can you not premier league usa tweeted out saying a force off the bench for spurs brennan johnson has the most goal involvement in a premier league as a substitute with six um next up is zara saying same sir same yeah i wonder what son is saying to the ref here what do you reckon he's saying it was over the line, guys. Come yeah, on. come on. <laughs> maybe, maybe the technology didn't work. You saw it. You saw over the line. You give the goal. Come on. Uh, love it. Simon Yamini uh, saying everything with a heart emoji. And that is uh, mm. and Son. I mean, so much love coming to and <laughs> Son. And quite rightly so. Alex THFC, big up Alex, says, turn your backs in the 65th minute. And this was a view of the South mm. Stand on that 65th minute mark. Yeah, look at it. You can see how many people have got their backs turned. Yeah. Um, interlude Sonny says maybe life is worth living after all <laughs> <laughs> when he nearly gave up eh? after after all the Fulham game but now he's uh, starting to uh, reconsider that love it next one from Zara uh, another clip of the in pitch intruder with Sonny if you just show that video um, on big and you can see <laughs> he does a great 
nearly got away from that steward and then Sonny goes to embrace him in a lovely moment. Worth it, worth it. Just for that little hair scruff. <laughs> 100%. Um, Maddis THFC saying, still convinced this was a goal. I mean, from that angle, Yeah, from that angle, how is it not a goal? Yeah. <laughs> it's mad. But if you look at the, re you look at the uh, replay, um, uh, look, the goal line technology does seem to work. It does seem like impossible how it wasn't a goal, but... I don't know. Is that edited? That looks like it must be edited. That that, that, can't, that, might, that can't be a real picture. I don't know. Sometimes pictures play tricks on you, don't they? No, because that's behind the post, so that has to be edited. Yeah. I can't believe that's a real picture. Well, who knows, but it wasn't a goal, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Carly T says, um, start Geo on Tuesday. Would you start him? Well... And I would, I would him consider instead him instead of Madison. Mm. Just because, it's not because I, I think Madison's in bad form. It's more just because I think it's good to use the squad. And especially when there's a quick turnaround, you've got someone like Gio playing well, who's a good quality player. You give him a, you give him a start with the view of bringing Madison back in for uh, for Forest. So I know for Tuesday's a difficult game, but they're good players. And I think you've got to use the squad. Raise a lot of eyebrows, though. It would. Drop James Madison for West Ham. But it Town. shouldn't, but it would. Unless you bring in Gio for Forest. No, I think do it now because it's a quick turnaround. Mm. So I think that would be the best way. But I look, I'm not sitting here saying I, I think he should definitely start, but I would say I would consider it if Madison's not 100%. Yeah, I'd agree. Uh, Son, 23-24 versus Harry Kane, 22-23. Stats in 26 games. Son, 26 games, 15 goals, 8 assists. Kane, 26 games, 22 goals, 2 assists. One less goal contribution, but Spurs fans will tell you Son isn't our most important player. I mean, which Spurs fan will say that? Maybe last season. I don't know. But people, people wouldn't say that, but... Um... He's definitely our most important player now, that's for sure. But it's mad to think about because Kane had a mad season last year. 30, yeah. he, got, he got 30 Premier League goals in the yeah. end. Um, and, you know, he was he was, had an incredible season. But, and we're seeing here with Son only one less goal contribution at this yeah. point. I mean, just imagine how many goal contributions Kane would get in this team this season. Well, probably similar, maybe what, more than Son? Probably. I don't know. More but, goals. Uh, more goals. But assist-wise, probably would be, be similar. Yeah. Um, again, <laughs> another clip of uh, Sonny and this little kid that did the uh, um, run onto the One of the, the features of yesterday. Yeah, exactly. He's absolutely the best human and captain, is uh, <laughs> what the tweet says. And yeah, absolutely right. Next one is uh, Football Confidential. This was the incident from earlier. After Brennan Johnson's shot was cleared off the line and no goal was given, but did it cross the line? Did technology fail? I mean, from that angle, it does... No, from that angle, yeah, it looks it not... Doesn't look like it's yeah, the line. But the other angle, I don't know if it was edited, but it definitely looks like goal from the other angle. But this angle, that's pretty definitive that it wasn't over the line. Yeah. But, but no, but the thing is, from that angle, it goes on to hit the post and go further in. It right. does. It, it, it goes further in than that? Yeah, it goes further in. Because it hits the inside of the post and goes a slightly bit further in before Doughty clears it. Um, do you think technology failed then? No, I don't. I'm just saying that, that that's how close it was to going in because it, it, it slightly touched even further towards the goal and it still remained out. Uh, Simon Yamini says, Werner, Johnson, Son. We have three, uh, all three of the bet have been brilliant in the second half. Werner and Johnson have gone hard and fast uh, versus their defender. Son has worked his ass off pressing and getting into great positions centrally. Um, and that was for that team a goal that Sonny did score. Yeah, it was a really good team goal. And that's also been... Um something of a pattern like these really great late team goals like the the brighton one like we saw like um the uh brentford we saw some really good team goals in in, in similar positions and this was like an, another really good example of that um really just well worked good counter attack uh, everyone doing their roles and uh ends up in the finish and that's something that's been happening consistently now yeah spurs express saying timo Werner on instagram saying great win great atmosphere on to the next one Good for him. Big up to Timo. Um, this is from SVR saying, Papa Lolo, Papa Kuti, and Uncle Sonny to Luca and Valentino. We're a big family. I'm not sure who. Oh, Lucia and Valentino must be. Yeah, the they're all waving at their. Uh, yeah, they're waving at their families and stuff. Yeah. That was a lovely moment at the end of the game. It all got together. That's lovely. Gio on Instagram says, happy to get the three points. Very proud to make my 100th appearance for this brilliant club. As always, thanks to all our fans for your support. More to come. Yeah, 100 appearance. Taking a while. 
but 100 appearances finally. But you know what? If I would have told you a year ago that Geo is going to make 100 appearances first, you probably would have said I'm mad. <laughs> a year ago, yeah, probably, yeah, you're probably right about that. But uh, if I told you when he signed, it would take him six years <laughs> to, <laughs> to play 100 games. Also, you'd have been like, what? <laughs> How many seasons has he been out on loan? Is it just one or two? Uh, I think 18 months he was out on loan. 18 months, yeah. yeah. Um, and then Spurs obviously tweeting that out as well. 100 appearances in a Spurs shirt for Giovanni Lo Celso. Um, again, this is the uh, Big Vic celebration. I mean, we can watch that time and time again. Uh, Classic. Lovely stuff. Uh, look at this picture of him <laughs> on. Uh, basically, the camera just can't catch him because he's too fast. Yeah, even at 31, he's still got that speed, doesn't he? And he showed that in the 85th minute. Yeah. XG Philosophy saying Tottenham 3.26 with two goals. Luton 0.46 with one goal in the game yesterday. Yeah, and I think that displays how dominant we were. And we should have easily scored a lot more than two, in my opinion. Pedro Porro tweeted out saying three points back in North London. No better feeling and that passion showing through once again. Yeah, big up Porro. Tottenham saying job done with Rishi and Sonny um, in the thick of the celebrations yesterday after that goal. Mm, great picture. Um, yeah, and Rishi, we didn't mention Rishi. He had mm. a nice little cameo as well. Like, didn't do anything brilliantly when it comes to attacking wise. Just, just energy levels. Wasn't yeah, it? holding the ball up, uh, making Luton foul him and things like that. Just getting, you know, getting the three points over the line. Yeah. Sung Mo Lee saying, am I the only one who thinks this is wrong, that the goal doesn't count? Um, probably not the only one, but unfortunately, I don't think... When it happens really to Spurs, it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> For Squawk, sure. Squawk is saying, Tottenham have now four players with seven plus assists in the Premier League this season. Son with eight, Madison Porro and Brennan all with seven. No other side in the competition has more than two. Really? Wow. That goes to show we're sharing it around a lot. Everyone's providing. I love that. Um, that's 160 and counting. That's the image that we did bring to you before. And is that all we have yeah, today? Yeah, that's all. That's all. Yeah, that is all we have to you today. So that is how the internet did react to the game. I feel that we might have... Yeah, we've got a members chat to Bobby K. Long time no see, my friend. He says, big up Ben, Sim, and the chat. Come on, Bobby Hope K. Hope everyone is well. And that brings an end to the stream for you guys today. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining us. Sorry for the a few technical difficulties that we did have. But let's all end here and let's go cheer on man city for later <laughs> come uh, on city. thank you everyone for joining us today like subscribe and comment and as always come, come on, on you spurs, spurs.